huh? I was just driving my boat and I heard this guy up here. What are you doing, dude? Are you just taking a ride to town with me? All right, I guess I'll just keep pedaling. Let's go. There go. That guy's still up there. <laughs> I just looked at the camera. He's just hanging out up there, eh? Coming with me. Where is he? I guess he's going this way. Hope he doesn't poop up there. Ten minutes later. Okay, I gotta make an update here. Sorry it's been a while. I've literally been working from like 5 a.m. until I just pass out in the evening. Uh, and it's going very well. I'm, I'm working on this project and the other day I stopped and looked at my project and I thought, holy cow, this is turning out like way better than I even thought it was going to. Oh, it's amazing. And I thought, I need to get a video of this and show people. And I was like, wait a minute, no, 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 I'm going to wreck the surprise. So uh, I'm a little bit jealous of all the people that are going to get to see this all at once. So I don't want to wreck that for anyone. So I'm going to wait until I make this documentary movie I'm making to show what I'm working on right now. And I don't want to say too much, but I want to wreck it. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome though. Okay, so why am I doing this documentary movie video anyway? Uh, well, for one, I don't, have, I don't even have the time or energy to put videos up online right now anyway. Like I get done with everything in the evening and I just pass out. I am getting lots of video of what I'm doing. Another reason is I just wanted to I wanted to change, you know, for like two decades almost. I've been getting video of what I'm doing and I'm always by myself, so I'm just like putting the camera here or there or holding it in my hand or whatever and getting whatever video. And then I just like slap all the clips together and barf it online without editing or hey dolphins. Oh squirrel! No, it's the dolphin. Hey, there is more dolphins. Um and you know, I've kind of been feeling like I want to edit something. So I wanted to make, well, there's a lot of dolphins. So I want to make like a, a cohesive, self-contained movie where you don't have to know everything I've done for the last two decades on YouTube for what I'm doing to make sense. Because, you know, I've, I've also gotten this comment or request, I guess, a lot of times from people. People saying, hey, I want to I want to introduce your videos to my friend, but you know, I was trying to figure out where to, to start them, but it's like anywhere you start, it's like, hey, Jamie's doing this stuff, but without all this information from the past, you don't know what he's doing or why or what's going on. Can you make some kind of introduction video? And at first I was like, oh, okay, so like a 10 minute explaining what I'm doing and why and kind of showing some stuff I've done. Uh, and then I was like, I can't, I can't say everything that needs to be said and show everything that needs to be shown in 10 minutes. If I'm going to do that, I need to like really do it. So I'm making a full, full length, feature length movie. So I think that's sufficient explanation for that. Now, uh, when's it going to be done? You know, if this quarantine thing hadn't happened, it would be done right now. Because there was a six month period where I could not get materials. And then actually just recently again, there was a road that uh, a landslide took out. So things weren't being delivered to town. I just went to town today and it looks like, it looks like things are being delivered again. So I think I'm okay, but I just had a little hiccup there. Um, Okay, I don't think I'm going to give anything away by saying this, but I'm, I'm using styrofoam for a major portion of this project. Like, it's one of the major ingredients. And I'm doing that because I kept finding styrofoam in the ocean, and I know people have lots of styrofoam that they're always throwing out or burning or whatever. And I was like, you know what, i got to find a use for this stuff because it's just going into the landfills. So, I committed to... 
using styrofoam as one of the main ingredients. And once I did that, I was kind of committed to using it for the entire thing. So my styrofoam supply uh, is kind of important. And at first, you know, I, I uh, put out some classifier, you know, they're like just, just post it in the online local classifieds. Hey, I need your styrofoam, don't throw it out, give it to me, I'll give it a new life, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And at first I got a whole bunch of styrofoam. And then I got less and less and less. And the last trip, when I went to town, I got like this much styrofoam, which was kind of disappointing. And then about a week ago, I totally ran out. I was like, oh man, my operation is at a standstill. I mean, it's okay, I did some other parts of it that I needed to do, but I needed to get more styrofoam. Then today, I emailed a bunch of people who had said, you know, I don't have any right now, but I'll have some for you soon. And uh, let's see, I got four people so far gave me styrofoam today. And uh, you can't see it all, but uh, this pontoon is loaded from about here up to about there. If you open this lid, it's full of styrofoam. The pontoon on the other side is full. The front of the boat here is just, is mostly styrofoam. And I've got one more stop to make. And this guy said he has like closets full, like several, like storage rooms full of styrofoam. So if I'm lucky, I'm gonna get more than I can carry. I might be able to pack it in the boat. It's not too far from there to home, and the, the ocean's calm and it's not windy, so I can pack the boat pretty, pretty full of styrofoam. So uh, yeah, that's how everything's going right now. Everything is going really well. I'm just getting, I'm getting a ton of work done, and uh, I'm very excited. I haven't been this excited about what I'm doing in kind of a long time. And uh, I'm really excited to share it with you guys. But I don't want to wreck the surprise yet. Okay, I'll let you know how this styrofoam goes. Well, while I'm driving here, I'm going to tell you about another experience I had. So I, I met this girl, and we were talking, and she said, Ooh, I like your muscles. And I was like, oh yeah, I drive a pedal boat. You know, it keeps me in shape. And uh, we were talking a little more. And then when we parted ways, she gave me her phone number and said, Call me when you get a real boat. Or call me when you get your real boat. Your real boat. Like it's already mine. And uh, the funny thing, like, I'm not, I'm not ever getting another boat. My experiences in this boat are amazing. I would not want another boat. Maybe another boat that I build, but I'm not getting a real boat. Let me tell you about my, my trip this morning. I got up at 4 a.m. and got in my paddle boat and just silently pedaled out of the bay and started heading toward town. Not in a rush or anything, so I left at 4 a.m. so I could just chill and uh, casually pedal up to town. And for the first two hours I was in the dark. Clear sky, I could see the teddy bear constellation, which is the bottom half of Orion. The big and small Christmas tree, the big dipper. I saw about two dozen shooting stars. It was beautiful. And then uh, the water around here has phosphorescent, phosphorescent plankton in it. So basically the water glows if you, if you touch it, if you stir it up at all. And uh, every once in a while I'd see a fish swim under the boat. And it's just like this glowing fish shape just gliding under the boat. It's so cool. Like all these kind of experiences you don't get when you're when you're racing around in, you know, the fastest vehicle that you can have. This is one of the reasons I, this is one of the things I really like about slow vehicles. Like instead of just get going from point A to point B as quickly as possible and ignoring everything on the way, I would much rather go at a leisurely pace and just enjoy the trip. Like the trip isn't something to be avoided. In my opinion, I, I love the trip. Okay. I'm almost here. Whoa. I did not even get it all. Oh man, I can't see anything now. 